Hello guys, welcome to the channel. One question I asked quite often is that how to pre-train a model from scratch on a data. Look, first thing first, you would need some real good GPUs for that. Not one, not two, multiple GPUs. And you would need massive amount of data. So the cost of pre-training a model from scratch is high. So entry barrier is quite high, but still, if you are lucky enough to have it, then in this video, I will introduce one tool which you can use. I don't have multi GPU, but I can at least guide you in the right direction as which tool to use, which are, which are the instructions to follow. And one of the tool which I really like in that regard is Nanotron. Nanotron from Hugging Face is one such tool which makes it quite easy. So in this video, we are going to install Nanotron locally and then we will see how this Nanotron actually works. Before I proceed further, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on affordable cheap prices with good quality, then I would highly recommend them and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs, so do check them out. Okay, so now let me go back to our Nanotron which is I believe one of the good tools out there and this is not the only tool by the way to be fair there are heaps of other tools which you can use but I find that Nanotron makes it fairly easy because it is from Hugging Face and it is a library for pre-training transformer models it provides a simple and flexible API to pre-train model on custom data sets Nanotron is designed to be easy to use fast and scalable it is built with two principles in mind first simplicity second is performance when it comes to simplicity nanotron is designed to be easy to use it provides a simple and flexible api to pre-train models on custom data set secondly performance it is optimized for speed and scalability nanotron uses the latest techniques to train models faster and more efficiently now you know what nanotron is so let me take you to my terminal where I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have this GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy masked compute. I have only one with 48 GPU of VRAM so I'll try to show you how to start the training and how to install Nanotron. So let me clear the screen. First up let me, sorry not this, let me create a virtual environment where I will be installing everything. I'm just calling it Nanotron. And then I'm stepping into that environment. So let's wait for it to finish. That is done. Let me git clone the repo of Nanotron and I will drop the link to it in video description. Shouldn't take too long. That is done. Let's cd to, into that directory. And make sure that you have Python 3.10 or latest install. I already have Python 3.11 which I'm using. And I already have pip installed. So make sure you also have it. Let's also build CUDA here, which is very important for it. So I'm using pip to install it. Let's wait for it to finish. This might take two to three minutes. So bear with me. And that is all done. Let's install rest of the prerequisites with pip install E. Let's wait for it to finish. This is going to take a bit of a time. That is done. Let's quickly install our data sets and transformers library. That should be fairly quick because I think I already have it on the system. Let's wait for it to finish. Shouldn't take too long now. And that is done. Next thing you need to install is flash attention with Triton. So let's wait for it to get installed. And that is all the installation of Nanotron you're all set to start your training. Let me clear the screen. Now, in order to start training a model, all you need to do is to run this. We are just setting our CUDA device, which is our GPU, and we are just saying that just establish one connection. We are using torch run, and we are saying that we have uh, this many GPUs here per load. For example, this is the only computer and I have one GPU, so yeah, I have mentioned one. If you have multiple GPUs, just mention however GPUs you have, 8, 4 or whatever. And then we are just running this training script and we are providing it this configuration file in YAML format. 
and all the training information is in this yaml file let me show you what that training fi uh, file looks like let me quickly take you to my browser so this is a config tiny llama file from the repo first up we are just importing some of the configuration now this model config is where the actual action happens let me tell you what these mean in very very simple words so we are specifying bos token id so this is the id of the beginning of sentence token this is a special token that indicates the start of sentence and then it is a way to tell the model that a new sentence is starting similarly we have end of sentence token we have hidden act that this is a activation function used in the hidden layers and this determines how the model processes and transform the input data it is a way to introduce non-linearity into the model allowing it to learn more complex relationship between input and output then we have hidden size this is the size of hidden layers and it is a way to control the capacity of model with larger values allowing the model to learn more complex relationship then we have um, initializer range which is a way to control the capacity of model again and this determines how the model weights are initialized similarly we are specifying max position embeddings this is primarily um, just tells you that um, the maximum number of position embeddings it is a way to control how much positional information is incorporated into the model then we have num attention heads it is a way to control how the model attends to different part of the input data number of hidden layers again same thing we are controlling the depth of the model with more layers along the model to learn more complex relationship and then we have key value heads which is uh, the way to control how model uses key value attention and then similarly pre-training tp is a task parameter and then this controls what model learns during pre-training and then we are setting the norm eps which is the epsilon value for rms normalization and that is how we regularize the model weights then we are using rope scaling that is a scaling factor of rope algorithm and this is what tells the model how to up, uh, update the weights during training then we are setting tie word embedding this is to see whether to tie the word embedding and this primarily tells the model to use the same embedding for both input and output and then we are using the cache for to store intermediate results and then the vocabulary size is this much and this is telling the model how much vocabulary the model can learn or in other words how many unique words the model can recognize this is what vocabulary is and then we are setting some of the parameters and we are generating some giving it some seed number then we are, are giving it the optimizer this is adam w which is a very common one we are setting the parallel one parallel parallelization then some data stages and then few other things which we already have discussed in terms of config of model and then we are just kicking it off so this is how we do it so that's it guys as i don't have the multi gpu setup so i won't be able to show you the actual training and that takes time days and days depending depending upon your data and your model and of course you can replace any model with that tiny llama you can replace it with any other data set you want it to train on so that's it i will drop the link to it in video description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching